Hello and a warm welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the HOD of the BSB. Like, share, comment on the YouTube video, subscribe to the channel, enable notifications to receive all the updates, of course, and help us get past the 1k subscriber threshold. Thank you for making me making me reach out before the years, of course. Not the time to explain why I was absent for the last two and a half months, pretty much, of the channel. Not posting any videos since the preview group A in the Euros. And I have my reasoning and I posted on the nearest podcast episode I'm going to be returning of course to the podcast soon hopefully tomorrow for a weekend review but of course we have a bigger business in hand now it's the Champions League draw the 2021-2022 group stage draw has been held and we know uh, the groups now uh, how they're going to be shaped and it's quite an interesting situation of course let's go through the groups quickly in group A it's going to be Manchester City the finalist of last season and Premier League champions with Paris Saint-Germain semi-finalist of the last edition of course face Man City in semi-final with RB Leipzig um, and Club Bruges in Group B it's Atletico Madrid Spanish champions with Liverpool uh, Porto and the returning AC Milan after years in the wilderness in Group C it is Sporting Lisbon the uh, Portuguese champions with Borussia Dortmund Ajax Amsterdam and Besiktas from Turkey in Group D it is of course Inter Milan Real Madrid Shakhtar Donetsk and um, Sheriff Tiraspol of course at three quarters of the group that was formed um, last season with Shakhtar Donetsk moving to another group um, uh, of course and um, you know be, not being part of the competition uh, anyway Bayern Munich versus Barcelona is going to be the tasty meeting in Group E with Benfica and Dinamo Kiev. Then you have Villarreal, Man United, the Europa League finalists, of course, Villarreal Europa League champions, again alongside Atalanta and Young Boys from Switzerland, Lille, Sevilla, Salzburg, Wolfsburg, pretty much the Europa League really group in this situation uh, in Group G and Chelsea, Juventus, Zenit and Malmo being in Group H. I don't have predictions for this. I don't have, I really have some general ideas I don't think I'm gonna throw predictions anywhere near soon but it looks like a pretty interesting and tasty Champions League draw I think aside from group G pretty much every group in this um, in this edition has a pretty tasty meeting even group C people think would probably neglect that group because sporting are the head of the group Bruce Dortmund Ajax is still a meaty um, meeting in that group Besiktas as well pretty decent um, entering as Turkish champions of course via the process of playoffs then you have of course the group D Inter Milan and Real Madrid renewing the, the, the vows again Atletico Madrid and Liverpool with the 2019 um, of course, the 2019 souvenirs. You have Milan, Liverpool, the 27, 2005. Uh, also, vibes and memories as well. PSG, Man City, pretty recent history in the Champions League semi final last season, as well as Leipzig, the history with. Paris Saint-Germain, now probably going to be new history with the city as well. Then you have um, Bayern and Barcelona, of course. I don't need to explain the history between those two. Ob- obviously, Barcelona are going to be looking for a sort of a moral revenge over Bayern Munich, considering that the first match is going to be Barcelona versus Bayern in the Allianz Arena on September the, the 15th. Villarreal, Man United, of course, the Europa League final is still pretty fresh in mind with that epic shootout. Manchester United are going to be looking to avenge that loss and that loss of a trophy that could have seen them be the ones in top of the group really and Atalanta being out or Villarreal being out of the competition Atalanta are going to be always a really wild horse and a wild card in that group then you have Lille Sevilla Salzburg Wolfsburg pretty balanced group I would say Wolfsburg are pretty decent Salzburg are doing really well Sevilla you know being good I don't think the group is going to be that hard on them they won't see Europa League I think this season Chelsea Juventus Chelsea the champions and Juventus were pretty wobbly their start in Serie A wasn't that great as well uh, but Chelsea of course perfect start in the Premier League winning the UFS Super Cup added to the Champions League win against Man City of course and they're flying high adding Lukaku to the firepower it's great for them at the moment it's really amazing for Chelsea fans at the moment it just is um, so overall I don't have exactly very high expectations of this um, of this you know group in particular overall intense I think again a lot of souvenirs a lot of scores are settled in different groups of course it's it's filled with nuggets of storytelling and nuggets of narratives that you could enjoy throughout the season of course definitely a group to look forward to probably group B Atletico Liverpool Porto and AC Milan pretty heavy sort of uh, clashes there also Bayern versus Barcelona that's going to be 
very anticipated for all the right and the wrong reason. People who are pretty cynical, waiting for Boston to get dropped again, but Bayern are going to have their um, weight in there. Then you have the, the, the Bayern fans who want to do even more damage to Barcelona. The neutral fans who want to see that clash play out. Obviously, PSG, Man City, of course. And with the added bonus of Cristiano Ronaldo potentially going to Man City, that's going to make that, their clash pretty tasty with Messi going the other way around. One of the things that I missed during the two half and two and a month, uh, two and a half months that have been uh, offline pretty much without posting any video on the channel is of course the huge deal of Messi going to PSG. Um, if Ronaldo goes out of Juventus, makes it into Manchester City, is going to be an incredible clash between those two. As I mentioned, Inter Milan, Real Madrid. How are those two are going to be meeting up again? How they're going to be? How they're going to be facing each other with this current situation at the moment? Real Madrid are still quote unquote in the hunt of Kylian Mbappe. I don't know if, if it is a PR stunt um, about hunting Kylian Mbappe and bringing him to Real Madrid this season, or is just a real thing um as i mentioned very united europa league final rematch pretty soon um again overall uh, every group has a tasty meeting probably aside from group g again i don't think that um any of the groups um are really like low on star power definitely every group has like a big clash to look forward to both home and away uh but i'm gonna make predictions but later down the line i would say i think um like one week three days maybe before the champions league starts i will be making a prediction for the for the whole tournament from start to finish hopefully i could be you know still posting regularly on the channel I don't know how i'm gonna be doing about the podcast and all of that which hopefully i would do the first episode of the second season tomorrow as a weekend preview so that's all that's my like overall general thoughts over the draw of the Champions League again a really intense draw a really meaty draw if you want to look forward to big matches on Tuesday and Wednesday you have that pretty much guaranteed in all the groups um, every weekend and every game week um, that's going to come to with the accustomed bonuses of fantasy you know gaming and all of that for the Champions League season it's just an amazing draw and of course very much anticipated on September 14th is going to be the return of the Champions League in the end I remind you once again to subscribe help us of course get over that 1k threshold thank you for helping me reach that over the last season follow me on Twitter at PSP and also at Gresmio, my second Twitter account, personal Twitter account, I'll be putting it in the description, and also on Instagram at Pitch Sideboard. I'm your host, the HD of the PSP, and until we meet soon, goodbye.